time, like I said, let's jump right into it. We've got a Thursday night matchup on, at uh, 7.30 on ESPN2 where the Coastal Can Carolina, and I believe I pronounced their mascot right, the Cantaliers or something? Yeah, the Chanticleers. Chanticleers go on the road to take on the James Madison Dukes. And, Brad, this is a really exciting matchup, two programs that – are kind of making a name for themselves in the FBS. James Madison most recently under Kirk Signetti, who has left to go be the head coach this year at Indiana, and we see what he's doing at Indiana so far. So, look, hopefully he left that program in good hands. Like I said, Thursday night kickoff, 7.30 on ESPN2. James Madison currently favored by 9.5 in this one at Bridge Force Stadium in Harrisonburg, Virginia. And Harrisonburg, Virginia, by the way, an electric atmosphere. We saw the Pat McAfee show go up there last year and just the energy behind that crowd. It, it's it's something special. And that's what I love about college football, going to these smaller college football towns that truly thrive based on this sport and the weekends throughout the fall around these games. But, Brad, I'll turn it over to you. Enough talking from me. Who do you have coming out and winning this game? And I believe it's a, a Sunbelt matchup, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nate, really, really a, a fun game. Uh, of course, Coastal Carolina a couple years ago under now NC State quarterback Grayson McCall, they were kind of the hot, the hot team. And I won't say they cooled off, but they've definitely um, – um, they're definitely still playing well. Of course, they're um, – Jamie Chadwell left there a few years ago. They're under uh, head coach Tim Beck. I believe this is his second year, maybe his third year, but he's doing a great job. But yeah, James Madison, such a fun program. You mentioned Kirk Signetti in the uh, you know in the introduction. He's doing a great job. Nate, I'm a big fan of their new head coach Bob Chesney. He came from Holy Cross, and there was a lot of um, people wondering, wondering where in the world that is. And he's done a great job. They're four and one. Of course, they're big, big upset. They put 70, 70 on North Carolina. Um, this has been an explosive offense. They did lose last Saturday in a little bit of an upset against U, uh, UL Monroe. Um, th this is going to be a fun one. I always love these these kind of smaller conference Thursday night matchups. I'm going to take the Dukes in this one. It's in Harrisonburg. That You mentioned it's going to be an electric atmosphere. I remember college game day being there last year, and it was just so much fun. That James Madison campus was electric. But I think their quarterback, Barnett, who's done a really, really good job, he's the difference in this one. Home crowd advantage as well. It's going to be a great atmosphere. Give me the Dukes in this one. Yeah, Brad, you mentioned both teams coming into this game 4-1. and one, And both teams are looking for a big win in the Sun Belt. We know that the group of five is competing all together for that one spot in the playoff this year with the expanded playoff. Maybe one of these teams makes a jump and later later on in the season and we and we see someone like these two slip into the playoffs. For this game specifically, though, I want to look at two guys on Coastal Carolina, Ethan Vasco. Vasco, he's off to a, a really, really good start. Um, against Old Dominion, he passed for over 360 yards and three touchdowns. He's got seven touchdowns and two interceptions on the year. So hasn't, you know, put up huge numbers, but he's playing efficient. He's playing well enough to keep his team in these games. And you look at the other side and Alonzo Barrett, as you mentioned, just tearing it up. I mean, he's got 10 touchdowns, um, 10 touchdowns passing, excuse me. And he's got, he's rushed for three in a two game span. That's pretty dang good. If you ask me. In the end, though, I think this atmosphere at James Madison is going to be really, really electric. Those fans are going to show up even on a Thursday night because I guarantee you, Harris, Harrisonburg, Virginia, this is one of those towns that shuts their town down for these games. So give me James Madison. I, I think that program is, is still doing something special up there in Virginia, and I think they're going to continue on Thursday night. So give me James Madison, and I think they cover the spread too. Let us know down in the comments who you think is going to win this vital Sun Belt matchup.